Hi, I'm Hilary Talbot, acupuncture physician and clinical herbalist. Today we will be discussing acupressure for hemorrhoids. Now if you've ever experienced hemorrhoids, you know that it's actually it's just so discomforting. Um, you can't get comfortable, you can't even sit comfortably sometimes when they're really bad. So I'm going to show you this simple point that has a very upward bearing action, energetically speaking, that helps with hemorrhoids. That's when I almost always needle, regardless of the underlying issue with the hemorrhoids. It's known as Dew 20 or Governor 20, and it's at the vertex or the top of the head. So to find it, you just want to locate the tops of your ears, use both hands, and where your thumbs come together at the point of the head, in a, in a vertex right in the middle, you'll often find a little divot or a tender spot. And you just want to massage this point in a circular motion, or even more effective than that is a tapping sensation. And this tapping sensation kind of clues your body in to bring everything up, which is really what we want to do with hemorrhoids, because hemorrhoids are always a, an issue of prolapse, where it's a sinking of the rectum. Now there are lots of other things that we can do, other points that we can include to make this treatment more effective. Sometimes it's as little as one or two acupuncture treatments to treat hemorrhoids, um, as well as the use of herbal suppositories that are very astringent and um, release you of the discomfort almost immediately. So if, if hemorrhoids is something that you experience, I encourage you to seek out the um, help of an acupuncture physician. If you don't have one, you can find one at acufinder.com. I'm Hilary Talbot, and that was acupressure for hemorrhoids.